Hi, I'm Jordan Accordion, and this is an introduction to the accordion. All levels are welcome. Um, To play these pop progressions, it's fairly easy on the accordion on the left side. You just have to develop your fingers to learn the pattern by muscle memory. So, for example, this is the same chord progression in a few different keys. C, now there's G. Now there's D. So you can play these same chord progressions going up the going up the Stradella bass system, which is pretty cool. So, what we do in this song... What we're actually doing is playing the major one chord, which is a C. And we just go from the third to the fifth. So we start with the root C, and then we just keep the third in there in the beginning, and then add on the five after and then replace the five with the three and so forth so if that makes no sense to you that's okay just watch the video screen and then what we're doing is keeping that going with the right hand while in the left hand we go through the bass progression And that first chord is A minor, right? So, in a tricky roundabout way of looking at things, C, which is our one major note and chord in this song, that C is the third of A minor. So, just like that E is the third of C, in this A minor chord, E is actually the fifth of the A. So, while we don't put play the A with the C chord, we do play the C in the E. Yeah. So, they're actually pretty related. My point is that they're pretty related. So when we play the it actually isn't that far off. And that's where we actually get a whole lot of opportunity to jam and play whatever we want. As long as we know where the chord is, we can throw it in there on the right hand. So that stretch from the A minor to the F might be difficult at first, but you'll get there. It just takes time. So if you see my fingers, I've actually developed where they can actually just like kind of move. That's taken years and years, so don't be discouraged. Same thing if we play it in G, we just keep it at E minor. So, so don't be discouraged if your fingers can't reach it right away. But know that you have that C button that your pinky can touch to get you an idea of where your fingers are at. And over time, it'll be quicker and quicker for you to find where you want to go. So,